hey, it's me. Today, I'm gonna be doing tie-dye. I have it right here, mostly because this awkward area, it's ugly, so. There! I'm gonna be tie-dyeing a lot of things today. And do a lot of tie-dye. Can we talk for a sec though? I have a running list of video ideas that I just, you know, add to. That's what a running list means. And tie-dyeing has been on my list for no lie, seven years. This is the first time I introduced tie-dye to my channel. Tie-dye. This video isn't even visible on my channel anymore. That's how old it is. I actually went through a phase where I was doing a lot of tie-dye. Really into it. Around that time, I started getting a lot of requests to do a tie-dye video. Here it is. <laughs> Leave a comment with a video suggestion. I may just get around to it. Seven years from now. <laughs> I still have most of my old tie-dye stuff. Look at, look at the vibrancy in and out of the wash for seven years and there's Still got it. That one's ugly. I don't like that one. Debisiblu, blue. <laughs> anyway, since I've been putting this video off for so long, I'm going to try to make up for it by doing a lot of it. So there's a lot. If you're using new stuff for tie dye, you want to wash it first. Hey, no. And then dry it. And then right before you actually start the tie dyeing process, you're gonna wanna wash them again. You don't need detergent this time though because the point is just to get them wet and leave them wet. Now, you wanna work on the clothes while they're wet because it just helps the dye absorb better and blend a little bit smoother. What is all this? This is all very random. Another thing, fabric type matters. Certain fabrics don't hold the dye. Stay away from 50-50 blends. All of this stuff I think is 80% cotton or more. What the heck? I thought these were sweatpants, but they're actually not. <laughs> I don't know if I like those. I've actually never tie-dyed socks before. Lots of shirts, sweatshirts, pair of shorts. I, I don't know, a little hoodie. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Tulip tie-dye kit. I've tried several kits and I've tried just the dye on its own and- I just really like the Tulip kits. But these are pretty small bottles. I'm gonna break out my old rusty supplies. Excuse me. I have quite a substantial bottle collection. And this box, wow. I have bags of dye. They're so dark. You know what color that is. But I honestly can't remember if this was the dye for a small bottle or for a big bottle. Cause that's kind of important. I hate my past self right now. Idiot. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna break open the new dyes. This kit comes with a project guide, rubber bands, a drop cloth or drop plastic, gloves, and of course all the dye. I'm suddenly getting scared. Scared to die. All you're supposed to do now is just add water into the bottles. The dye is already in there so you can just shake it up and bam. The only thing that kind of the only thing that kind of sucks about this kit is that the dye is only good for 45 minutes so you kind of gotta work. Quick. That kind of sucks. You gotta live with it. So I'm going to add water to all of these. Also the other six colors that I already had. So let's go do that. You know what? No. First, I'm going to set up my workstation. Ah! Got my workstation set up. Also have my paper towels, my cling wrap, and a spray bottle at the ready, cause we'll need those as well. Now we can go mix the dye. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you know what? It's a good idea to come up with your ideas first so that you have as much time as possible to work with the dye. Let's see. Non più dry farfalon amoroso, notte giorno di torno girando. Okay, got all my ideas together. I just dropped my pencil. Now we can go activate the dye. Wait, just kidding. I'm actually gonna go now. So that 
took a hot minute. Wow, um, well, I, that felt like 45 minutes already. Here's all the dye I have to work with. Might have been a little overkill. <clears throat> first things first, gloves, even though I've already dyed my hands. Gloves. I'm gonna start with this one. Somehow it already has a little speck of dye. Since this is the first one, I'm gonna do the classic spiral technique. So we pinch where we want the center of the spiral to be. You can choose the center of the shirt if you're being basic, or if you wanna be special, then you can choose a different spot. I want the spiral up here. I don't like the gloves. Pinch, twirl, and then you rubber band it like a pizza. Quick spray for good luck. And let me put these really annoying gloves on again. Truly obnoxious. Now let's go with the dye. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ow. I like to get real saturated with it. Get in there. Although there might still be white visible when you unfold it, which is fine. There shouldn't be any white visible from the outside if you want like a decent coverage. Once you saturated that side, flip it over and there's a hair and repeat with the same colors. Oh, this one is not shook. See all that? That's bad. This one might suck. Oh yeah, that's, that's heavy. Um, n now, um, ooh, this is a mess. Now, get some cling wrap, wrap the shirt, and we're gonna let it sit like this for 24 hours. I'm just gonna clean up my workstation, tie-dye your paper towel at the same time. It's a double craft. And I'm gonna do another classic, which is called the bullseye. It's called the bullseye. You pick the spot you want the center of the bullseye to be, the shoulder area. Wait, let me make sure that's not on the boob. This is the center right here. And then we just kind of rubber band it in sections where you want each different color. Oh, it's kind of a, f <sighs> rubber bands are a little weak. Oh, why is this sleeve out? You got a little <laughs> tail there. Okay, so now you got this weird looking now, the fun part. And another one done. All right, now that I've used uh, like half of some of these, I am gonna actually water them down so that I can create pastel versions of every single color. Next thing I'm gonna do is something that's kinda cool. You can kind of invent your own design. All you have to do is Fold the item in half. You can take a washable marker, make sure it's washable. You can draw a half of any symmetrical design. So I'm gonna do a rainbow. Then you just fold it like an accordion on the line, rubber band that in place. So that should work. So now you just color in the design and you can do this with anything that's symmetrical like a heart or a rainbow or a heart or a rainbow. I'm gonna use the colors that I attempted to make pastel. What you see now is not what you're gonna get in the end. The colors will lighten dramatically and if they're too watered down, they can actually completely wash out. So you gotta be careful with the pastels. <gasps> Wait, this is not pastel. I'm gonna go water this down more. Oh, it's still super dark. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna look good. I'm wondering, what should I do for the background color? Maybe like a dark blue? Is that ugly? You know what? I feel like I've lost my touch. Look at how messy it is on the back. No! <clears throat> Where's that pink? All right, well, that is what it is, and we'll we'll find out what it is later. Uh oh, 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 uh oh. Come here, little guy. Shh, 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 shh. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt you. What now? I'm gonna do the galaxy design, which is one of my favorites. Swirl the center and secure the swirl, but instead of swirling the whole shirt, just crumple the rest of it. It doesn't really look like anything, but it's something. It's supposed to look like a galaxy in the sky. It's gonna be a rainbow galaxy. Woo! Eee! Oh, 
Oh, it's not stable. Mm. Okay, now I am probably most definitely running out of time that this dye is going to be active. So now I'm just gonna go crazy and just knock all of this out. I guess I might as well do these pants. Hello, look, I'm talking without moving my mouth. One thing I forgot to mention, it's probably a good idea to do all of the rubber banding before you activate the dye, not after, seeing as the dye has a pretty short life can't with these gloves. And you don't want to feel rushed the whole time, so don't, 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 don't do what I'm doing. Especially if you're working on a big batch, 45 minutes really isn't that long, so do all the prep work beforehand so you can just relax and leisurely die. Ow! Ow! What's happening here? You're supposed to be good at this. I forgot that the shirt is tiny. Now, I think it's obvious tie-dyeing is a pretty classic art craft activity. It's been around for a little while, but recently tie-dye has been trending like really hard. The trendy tie-dye is basically like mostly white items with splotches of like one faded color. You know, pretty much the complete opposite of what I'm doing with my tie-dye. I never claim to be trendy. I can definitely appreciate the one color tie-dye style, but if I'm gonna be tie-dyeing myself, you know, I'm just gonna go wild with it. I just don't have the self-control to not use every single color. Now, you don't have to be super neat. I think I almost like the results better when I loosen up a little bit and like, you know, let, the, let that dye fly. This one definitely didn't turn out as one of my favorites, and I think that's because the colors just did not blend together at all. But on the other hand, you should be a little bit careful with what colors you allow to mix unless you want brown um, if you go in rainbow order, you'll never have two colors touching that don't mix well, and it's just so beautiful. It's the natural order, okay? Also, be careful of the yellow. Yellow is a gentle soul. She can get bullied. You see how the strip of yellow is smaller than it should be? Make sure you keep the other colors far enough away from the yellow so that they don't seep into it and take it over. Okay, we're just doing abstract art now. Whoa, wow, I'm going crazy. Will it be pretty? Will it be ugly? I think I've reverted. This is like how five-year-olds tie-dye. I promise that's gonna be ugly. Oh, I think my neck's broken. Definitely been two hours of tie-dyeing. Hopefully um, the dye hasn't already gone bad. Now, here's the thing. If you want really vibrant colors, leave the dye to sit for like 24 hours. If vibrancy isn't like your top priority, then you can just leave it for a little while. So I have all my little projects just snuggled up in some cozy saran wrap. I have a significant amount of dye left. Ah, It's really sad that you can't keep it for longer than, you know, 45 minutes to two hours, hopefully. Goodbye. I'm sorry, my lovely, lovely colors. No, 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 no. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. Ooh, this is actually kind of pretty. That's a really pretty spot right there. I wonder if any of my stuff is going to turn out that pretty. I was so confident in the beginning of this video that I was gonna make really good tie-dye, but now I feel like all of this stuff is just gonna look really obnoxious and like a three-year-old did it. We'll see tomorrow. Hi! New day, same clothes. And my tie-dye stuff has been sitting overnight. So now is the very exciting time. Very exciting time? I don't know. Where we rinse out all the excess dye and reveal what the design looks like. <sighs> I am going to be washing them and drying them and trying them on as well so that we can see the final, final product. So I'm very excited slash nervous. Let's do it. So I'm doing this in the bathtub. I just always used to rinse my tie-dye in the bathtub. You wanna keep squeezing the dye out. I'm doing a squeezing motion with my hand right now, even though you can't see me, until the water runs completely clear. This can take a while, especially with the larger items. Also, just a side note, the dye did start to lose its potency since I was working with it for around two hours. Some of the items I dyed toward the end of that had a little bit more of a faded color. When I first started tie dyeing, like way back in the day, I tried to save my leftover dye. I put it in the fridge because I think I read that that would preserve it a little bit longer. And I had it for like two days and I tried to use it, but it just completely washed out. The color was just gone. So after I get through all 
all this rinsing i'm gonna be machine washing all of these which there is a concern that if you wash all of them together the colors could run so if you're doing one or two items wash them individually but since i'm doing a huge batch like this i really would not like to do 12 loads of laundry just to wash my tie-dye so i'm trying to make sure to really rinse them out well after going through one round of rinsing and letting them sit for a little while more dye will start to kind of bleed out so i went through a second round of rinsing for every single item my hands were so sore but i just wanted to make sure that i was rinsing them out as well as possible because i just want to wash them all together finally they're done being rinsed I rigged up my camera on the toilet to get that shot. That's a first. Now they go up to the laundry. Okay, finally. I make a lot of tie-dye stuff. Oh, it's so fresh. It's been washed like five times. Oh, they look so beautiful collectively. So let's go over the results, shall we? Starting out with some of the weaker ones. We have this. This is the one that I said I thought was going to be really ugly. Um, you know, it kind of is. It just doesn't look very intentional. This is just not really my vibe. Next, I have this one, which is just kind of a classic swirl situation, but it's off-centered, so it's cool. Oh, these smell so good. And then I have a couple pairs of shorts. I have these, which are kind of like the bullseye kind of look, and these are very pastel. I really like the way the colors came out on this. During the summer, when I'm at home, I like live in these Sophie shorts. I'll be wearing these a lot, but I think I like this pair even more. The colors are more blendy and satisfying. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And then I have two of these shirts, which are kind of like the wide fitted. Wide fitted. That makes no sense. They're kind of just like the wide, like slouchy shirts. It got a little bit muddy up here where the red meets the blue. I wish that I had poured a little more pink in there, but I think that this looks pretty cool. And then the other one is, oh yeah, this is one of my favorites. It's just a big, bold, bright rainbow spiral. I think this one is amazing. I love the colors. I love everything about this one pretty much. This is definitely one of my favorites. And then I have a couple of these like really thin hoodies. This one is another fave. It came out so cool. It's the Galaxy, kind of. I love the design of it. I love how it came out. I don't know why, but I'm kind of obsessed with the fact that the strings are like perfectly dyed. It's all in the the details and then the other hoodie is a shoulder bullseye thingamabob it's not one of my favorite ones it's a little bit basic oh this was the whack sleeve i folded it back up so that's interesting the other one is perfectly normal though then we have these little shirts i haven't tried these on so hopefully they fit me a little rainbow on this one it's a little bit not centered <laughs> So there's that, but that's okay. This one, this is my favorite of the bullseye designs. The design is just so clean. Look at that cleanliness. I mean, this is factory quality right there. Please appreciate it. <laughs> and then we have this sweatshirt. I would like this a lot better if it weren't for the stripes on the sleeves. I think they're a little weird and random. I just grabbed this at Costco because it happened to be 80% cotton. Um, I don't, I don't... <sighs> I mean, it's not ruined, ruined. Like, I still will wear it and I still kind of like it, but those stripes just kind of bother me. <clears throat> That's fine. This is the one pair of pants that I did dye, and I, if these were sweat, I think, okay, let me try to talk. Let me try it. I feel like I'm holding a body. If they were sweatpants, I would actually really like them, but they're not comfortable. It's like jean material. I'm not gonna be lounging in these, but like, I'm not gonna wear these out either, because they're kind of obnoxious. So I don't really know what to do with them. I'm not even gonna let them touch the other ones. Finally, a whole bunch of socks. The 
socks are cool. I like the socks a lot. I'm gonna have a heck of a time trying to match these up. Every sock special. But these are really cute and fun, and I'll definitely wear the socks a lot. <coughs> I like it. Whew. Yeah. So that is it for my tie-dye adventure. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and even if they're less than perfect, it's still like a really fun experience. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next Friday. Bye.